the environment where I was grown up led me to study the environmental health science and environmental risk factors play a crucial role in uh, global burden of disease which attribute around 23% global burden of disease. So I got curious on the health research and I joined the Nepal Health Research Council in 2005 as an environmental health research officer. The biggest problem in Nepal for the he uh, data collection in health is most of the hospital based data or service data are not recorded in the electronic systems. They are paper based. Regarding the DHIS2, Nepal government has already started this DHIS2 portal or software. Uh, we are getting the data from the grassroots level, from the health posts. However, still the mortality data is not coming in DHIS2. Instead of health metrics and evaluation team visited in Nepal, in 2014 and they also suggested us to improve our mortality data and one of the options is utilization of the verbal autopsy tools. So we utilize these smart VA tools in a pilot study. Regarding my visit and experience of visiting the home for the verbal autopsy, Nepalese people are very polite. Uh, namaskar Raja. So uh, they really support us and their attitude is very good. And these findings are very important for Nepal because it saves the times as well as it assigns the cause of death in a group. So this data can be utilized for the you know, evidence-based planning. Regarding the environmental health risk factors, one of the biggest challenges now is the air pollution in the urban area, especially ambient air pollution because many people are living in the area who are taking the unsafe uh, polluted air. And in many rural areas, people are still compelled to use the solid biomass fuel and uh, they are burning the woods and others and they are exposed to the indoor smoke. Next biggest issue is uh, still the water is contaminated. The people are still facing the challenge of the cholera outbreak, diarrheal outbreak. So the government has introduced the cholera vaccine recently and also the typhoid vaccines. And another big challenge that Nepal is facing right now is the climate change because Nepal is the one of the least developed country which is facing and which is most vulnerable you know, to the global climate change. As a result, many vector-borne diseases which are endemic in the lowland, the Rai region has now been established in the highlands. So the people of the mountain region and high altitude are at risk of the vector-borne disease. As an environmental health scientist, we need to think globally about it locally. So the public awareness is the key one. And next, we need to de uh, design the health adaptation plan uh, to address the climate change, and we need to implement them. And uh, another more important is that the behavior of the people should be improved. They should have to avoid the habit of burning the liters and plastic. They have to drink a water with the purification or boiling. So that helps to avoid the environmental risk factors and can save the life of many people. Regarding my vision for the future health means uh, we want to see healthy Nepalis and the prosperous Nepal because Nepal is one of the happiest country in the world. So if we all can be healthy and, and if the nation can invest on the health of the people means we can imagine a prosperous Nepal very soon because we have reached in the natural resources and other things. So I, uh, I would like to see the prosperous Nepal through healthy Nepal.